Hey Vsauce, Waspy here. Smash Ultimate has no micro spacing options. Or does it? For those of you who don't know, when you tilt your controller stick with enough speed, you enter two animations. The first one, usually appearing as a long leap forwards or backwards, is called an initial dash. And after that, if you keep holding forward, you will start running. Initial dashing and running are very important tools in every character's kit. Unlike other fighting games, platform fighters are all about movement, and good positioning can take a bad option to one of the best. But there is a big problem with initial dashing. Apart from jump, dash attack and up smash, you cannot act out of an initial dash until you start running where you can do basically anything except dash back. The problem with this is that dashing takes up a lot of space, which makes them pretty limited for any sort of micro spacing. This leaves you with one option, walking, which isn't bad and it has its uses, but it's really awkward to use and it's extremely slow. So, what should you do? The answer is micro dashing. But before we get into its applications, we should first learn what it is. Initial dashes have a 5 frame window in which you can cancel it into a dash in the other direction. When you do this, the second initial dash will go pretty much nowhere and skip straight to running at the cost of a few frames. That is a micro dash. Shown on screen is the distance CSS travels by initial dashing into a shield as early as possible. CSS can shield, do most attacks or even stop without jumping. But with a micro dash, the initial dash is much shorter, allowing us to go straight into a run letting us shield, stop earlier in attack or do anything you could do during a run. Now, the distance CSS has to travel to act goes from this, to this. This distance is pretty significant for both spacing and approaches. First, let's talk about spacing. Let's say you're fighting your local jungling main in pools, and you get into this range. This is a pretty common situation to be in. If you wanted to jab them, the most obvious thing to do is just to dash in and do it. The problem is, at this range, you'll end up extremely close and will be punished hard on shield. You could try to walk up and jab, but you would need to walk for a whopping 25 frames before being in range for a space jab. That's half a second assuming the walk is executed perfectly. I hope I don't have to explain why that's a bad idea. This is where micro dash comes in. Micro dashing allows Chrome to jab up to 5 frames earlier, with much better spacing too. Now, let's talk about approaching. Say you're fighting Cloud, and if you know anything about Cloud is that they like to back air. A lot. So, you always end up fighting against this wall of pain you don't know how to get past. If you blindly run forward, you'll get hit before you can even do anything. You can try walking towards him, but with that speed you know what is bound to happen. Now this is the point where some people would just give up and complain on Twitter about how Cloud is horribly designed and only spams one button or something. But come on, you know better than that. If you micro dash, you can shield the back air in time to get a punish, go for a long range attack if you have one of those, or better yet, parry to make them look like an idiot too. Finally, let's talk about positioning. In fighting games, whiff punishing sounds like an easy concept, just be in the correct spot. Pretty easy, right? But in Smash Ultimate, the dash mechanics mini can be difficult if the position you want to be happens to be in the middle of where an initial dash will take you. Walking is good for small adjustments, but what about that Goldilocks zone where you need to get it just right? Well, micro dashing can help here too. Because you go straight into a run, it allows you to stop at any point with something like a shield, allowing you to finally whiff punish that pesky swordy who keeps hitting you in the face for just trying to move. To recap, Micro dashing allows you to space better, have a better time while approaching, position yourself with surgical precision, and has some other niche uses we can't get into here like being used as a deceiving option and can even allow some characters to hurt box shift. So I would say micro dashing is way better than walking as a micro spacing option. Big thanks to Gixel and Shari for helping me with the making of this video. And big thanks to Sword for letting me use his document on the topic for this video. I've left their twitters and the document in the description, so go check them out.
This video took a lot of effort to make, so if you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. Also, let me know in the comments what other tech you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching, and until next time.